for my soccer universe? Well, I said this video was a weekend of not too many big games and yeah, what shall I say? I didn't watch anything in La Liga because of that, but then something big happened and as you can see I'm wearing Barcelona who are the big winners of this weekend. Although arguably the biggest games did not involve either Barcelona or Real Madrid. So let's have a look at um, what happened in Spain. We'll look at France, we also look at Portugal, although it's not a complete picture yet. I will complete this picture uh, in the Premier League uh, roundup that I will shoot tomorrow. Uh, the Friday started out with kind of a really interesting game between Betis and Real Mallorca, where Real Mallorca in the first half twice took the lead and twice Fekir from a penalty spot could save the second one, very unlucky, the goalkeeper had his hands right there and seemingly got under him, very unlucky. Joaquin right after half makes it 3-2 for Betis and you think, yeah, maybe Betis gets, gets it, nope, similar, but it's not time for a penalty, Real Mallorca can equalize through the uh, young Japanese player, uh, Kubo, who takes a shot again, the goalkeeper has the hands on there, but it goes under goes into net and it ends 3-3, kind of a spectacular start to a admittedly spectacular weekend. Uh, Celta Vigo Leganes was not spectacular, but it was an important win for Celta um, to in their battle for relegation. Leganes, we know, is really hit by this um, Braithwaite transfer to Barcelona. Um, Iago Aspas, who else gets the winner and even um, ten, 10 men Celta Vigo for more than uh, 70 minutes, they had to play 10 men, they get the win over Leganes, an important one, as we'll see for Vigo. Speaking of Braithwaite, he made his debut at Barcelona, but he was not the star of the show. Who is the star of the show? Well, the guy who has not been scoring uh, as of late, although he made many, many assists. I'm talking about the little one who is, to um, who is now talking with the media a lot and making sure that everyone knows it's not his fault. Messi scores four goals, and to be honest, the 14th, uh, the one in the 14th minute after assist by Raka, I mean, typically Messi, I mean, the way he looks at it and gets it in, um, <laughs> Vidal assisted the second one, uh, he makes the third one, and, or the fourth one, he, he, here he doesn't get an assist, in, in it was in the 87th, so it kind of late, it was an assist by Breathwaite, but he does all the work uh, slaloming around the defenders and pulled, putting it in. And believe it or not, Braithwaite even assists the second one, so his debut for Barcelona is actually going quite well. Barcelona, uh, yes, it is only Abar who have been faulty, but you know, a 5 0 win, this is uh, right what you needed, especially after such a turbulent week with all the allegations, social media scandals, and whatever was happening around Bar Barcelona. Getting this win. You can now go comfortably to uh, Naples and let's see what we'll be getting there. And more importantly, we have a Classico on this weekend. What to watch video will be coming for soon. So this 5-0 really set kind of the tone. Then uh, Real Sociedad similarly uh, prolonged Valencia's horrible, horrible week. They got four in Milan against Atalanta. Real Sociedad piles on them 3-0. Really did not like the jersey matchup in that one. I I don't like these Valencia jerseys. But Merino very um, early on gets the one nil. The Nacho Monreal makes it two nil just before the half, and when Janosai with a really nice shot uh, makes it three nil uh, right after the half. The game was done and dusted. The big shocker though came when Levante took Real Madrid. I expected kind of a professional Real Madrid performance as they have been doing of late. Um, Azar. Uh, we got to know will now be out again. He just played last week where he was really good. He had a not so good showing and then um, now uh, he will be out again. This is something that, um, yeah, that's the big transfer for Real, for, for Real Madrid. But on the other side, Real Madrid was even playing well without those. Real Madrid was not playing well. Uh, from what I could tell in the highlights, kind of timid without much um, punch going forward. I think that the two big games against Man City and against Barcelona in the upcoming week were playing a huge part of having kind of a little bit of reserve performance. And it was really headed for a nil-nil. Uh, I mean, yes, there were small chances for Levante. There were some chances for Real Madrid as well. But in the end, it's Morales, who just gets the ball 
out wide on the box, hits it, and in the near corner completely surprises Courtois. But it was mostly Modric who did not realize, I mean, he was close to him, he did not really realize, he was just looking at the ball. More, Morales can uh, run, makes it 1-0 Levante, and we have a switch in the table, as we will see. That win and the loss by Barcelona, the loss by Real Madrid, means now roles are reversed. And so Barcelona puts the pressure on Real Madrid. So coming to the pressure a little bit. Uh, Sunday started with a 3-0 win by Granado at Osasuna. Kind of surprising result. Alaves turns it around against the Athletic Club. Um, uh, Athletic Club took the lead in the um, uh, first half. In a very lively game through Raul Garcia. Perez from the penalty spot can equalize it. Second half kind of fizzled out a little bit until Ely in the, in the stoppage time just takes a shot, goes over the crossbar and in. Uh, from a rather acute angle as well. So a uh, big winner there. Valladolid against Espanyol, 2-1 uh, for Real Valladolid. Getafe rather surprisingly loses to Sevilla at home 3-0. Um, kind of an open game, but you know, you could see that Getafe is a little bit um, taken by the huge performance they pulled out against Ajax uh, midweek. The first um, goal is just a... Defender fell over and gives the ball to Region, who can put it in and Ocampos can slow also at home in the fourth for the third and once Fernando after a nice assist by Luc de Jong makes it 2-0. The game was done and dusted that did give back a three. Yeah. Will not matter too much uh, to anyone, but you know it hurts a little bit. And Atletico Madrid, three goals. Three goals by Atletico Madrid after that performance against Liverpool. Maybe we'll see something from Atletico Madrid now, but I still think it won't go for the title. The uh, scorers were, they were 1-0 down, but then Correa, Coque and Joao Felice score three goals to give Atletico Madrid the win. And therefore, if we look now at the table, uh, we have Barcelona is now, as we said, in first place. Real Madrid are right there in second. Ten points ahead of Atletico and Sevilla moves up in fourth. Getafe drops out into fifth. So uh, Getafe had now two losses in a row. Sevilla... And Atletico get back in. Uh, Real Sociedad is also up there, but Via Real and Valencia uh, go down a little bit. Um, Levante moves up, Atletico Club goes down. Yeah, yeah, if I look now towards the relegation zone very slowly, we have, I think, where Valladolid might be safe. Eibar, Celta Vigo, Mallorca, Leganes, Espanyol. But I think it um, things get harder for Leganes and Espanyol. It's basically those two seem like almost a certainty and then between the other three, one will go down with Mallorca looking the worst. Stuff also happening in uh, Ligue 1 that was kind of unexpected. Um, we had nice Brest 2-2, Lyon winning at Metz, then a big one. Marseille lose, losing home to Nantes 3-1. Nantes took a lead in the first half uh, that Marseille could equalize. Uh, just, uh, I think, before the break through Sanson, but then right after the half, Bamba gives uh, Nantes a lead, lead again, and then in the end, it's an own goal that seals the deal. Uh, that came totally unexpected. Angers wins against Montpellier 1-0, Dijon, Monaco 1-1, Lille over Toulouse. Uh, if you look at the Sunday against with Rennes, 2-1 uh, over Nîmes, and then the big one, PSG against Bordeaux. I mean, a game that should be much more exciting than it is because Bordeaux is now at best a mid-table team, but they took a leak through Juan Huicho uh, in the 18th minute, but Cavani with his 200th after, uh, assist by Di Maria, can equalize. And then the crazy stoppage time. Where Marquinhos, after uh, Di Maria assist, heads it home, makes it 2-1, everyone thinks, game turned. Nope. The goalkeeper of PSG, there was a back pass from Verratti that Rico is shooting out and hits right the, uh, Pablo in the 46, 40, no, 51st minute, so 6 minutes of stoppage time. It is 2-2 going into the half. Marquinhos, after a while, it was not easy work, but he gets the two, uh, the three two. Mbappe a few minutes later makes it four two after Cavani assist. This was a really nicely played goal. Um, Mbappe gets the ball in the um, from a, a defender, puts it out right. I think it was Pardo. Uh, pulls it out right to Cavani, who gives it right back, and Mbappe can put it into the empty net. 
Powder makes good on uh, his uh, mistake though and scores a really world class goal. And then Neymar, being Neymar, already had a yellow card and yeah, he got fouled. That should have been given. He wants to play on and I think the frustration got the better of him. He makes a ruthless tackle that you don't do. The game is on your side. Da, da, da. He gets sent off. So less playing time for Neymar. I think in Dortmund they will be very happy. What it means is that PSG extends the lead over Marseille. Rennes now in third place ahead of Lille and Monaco is still high up there. Um, Lyon and Strasbourg get also back in there. And now we see kind of, you know, uh, Rennes and Lille a little bit ahead of the rest of the chasing pack. Uh, Not with the win also gets himself back up again and overtakes, for instance, Bordeaux. Saint-Étienne climbs one spot but it's still down there but again it is rather tightish but Saint Etienne is maybe among the first teams that we have to think relegation I see Angers, th th Angers th 33 Saint Etienne 29 27 is Nîmes Amiens to lose unfortunately I think those will go down very briefly and rather incomplete in Portugal, we have for now a change, but it's not a final one yet. Sporting um, beats Boavista, Braga beats Setobal and Porto Portimonense. So we all have to wait for the Monday game that by the time you post, you probably will know the result and I will give you the result, uh, as I said, in the Premier League video. But with these results for now, we have Porto. Uh, two points ahead of Benfica. We haven't seen this in a long time. Benfica needs to get a win to get back ahead. Braga and Sporting basically uh, a little bit solidify their um, third and fourth spot. But you know, uh, Rio Ave and Family Cao, well, maybe not as much, but Rio Ave has a chance. Well, that's my review for Western Europe for now, especially La Liga and then uh, Liga and a little bit uh, Liga Nosh. Let me know what if you saw any of the games, if I kind of gave the right rundown or if you want to correct something, drop a comment below, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.